Libra, welcome into your What You Do Not See Coming tarot reading. I want to ask your spirit guides to show us in the next couple of weeks from whenever you receive this reading, because this is a timeless reading, so um, you can get it any time. It doesn't have a date or a time. It's just when the energy finds you, um, there's a message for you. Okay, so this is going to be something that you don't see coming, events, situations, people, anything over the next few weeks in your life. Let's begin. Spirit guides for my amazing Libras, please come into my spirit room. Guide me in these readings, please. Show me clearly what it is that I need to see. And speak to me clearly what it is I need to hear. Let us begin. Let's find out for Libra Spirit Guides. What is it that you wish to say to Libra? I just had a weird vibe. As I was shuffling, and I know this I've been using this deck all morning. It almost seemed as when I was shuffling, like dust rose from the, <laughs> the, the the oracle card like when you dust something off and i know that i'm using this oracle card all day already oracle deck so it's not dusty that's for sure what's that about um has something been having a stagnancy or something hasn't been moving or something hasn't been touched in a while or life is just kind of like getting a bit stagnant so let's find out what's going on with you maybe Maybe that is what's going on with you. We've got butterfly spirit coming in here. Transformation is beautiful. Maybe it's about time. Maybe you're feeling as if things are not really going. If you're getting a bit, I don't want to say bored, but maybe you are getting a bit bored. Maybe you're kind of like tired of looking at certain things, tired of seeing certain things. <gasps> this card, round and round. Yes, this is the energy. Round and round, the same old merry-go-round, on and on and on and on. Yeah, that's why I saw that like, it looked like dusted rose like that off the oracle card. And I was like, what's going on now? And um, yeah, transformation is beautiful. I feel like you're going, I am so, I'm so, in Afrikaans, so I'm South African. I'm not Afrikaans, but my surname is, though. my great-grandfather was Afrikaans. I'm actually English. But there's an Afrikaans saying, if you're South African, it's called sick and such. Okay, it's like I am sick and such, or Aka sick and such. I'm sick and tired, sick and such, round and round. I'm just sick and tired, you know, of the sick and such finished, um, of everyday grind, the same thing happening. I come home, I eat macaroni and cheese, I go to bed, I wake up, I eat cornflakes, you know what I mean? I go on the same road to work again. It's like, oh my God, transformation is about to happen. That kind of feeling that I got with this round and round, round and round energy. So let's get in here and see what's going on. All things lead you. Even the round and round. Even the boring. Even the never ending. It leads you to somewhere. Even though you may not be seeing it at that time. Okay. Let's see what comes in here for you. Transformation. Love it so much. We've got woof. Take care of your needs. Okay. So... With the wolf spirit coming in here, yeah, I feel like, honestly, uh, for some of you guys, you could be maybe burning out in some kind of way or maybe falling a little bit into like a depressed kind of vibe. I'm feeling low energy. I felt it immediately when I was talking about the round and round, excuse me, round and round energy. You may be feeling drained, tired. Even just depressed. You know, and um, this is the thing. Sometimes we can take care of our own needs and we create a life of perfect safety and harmony because we want to be safe. We want to know that we've got a job that we go to every single day and um, we've got a, a place that we got, we pay, we're renting or we can afford the rent and we're like, good. You know, you got your car, you don't have your car, but you get to work every day, you come back. It's safety. And then that, that you feel good when it first happens and you're like, oh, this is great. I've got safety for the rest of my life. I'm good. But something happens when change doesn't take place because we are 
on this planet experiencing constant change. Um, we have summer, we have winter, we have um, hot and cold. We have day, we got night, we got moon, we got no moon. We got cloudy skies, we got sunny skies. You see, we've got plants growing and plants dying. Uh, we've got nature all around us. And that's how nature is. It's our world here, it's about <coughs> transformation literally constantly. And it is constant growth, constant change. And sometimes when we don't have that as well, it can also become another kind of problem. It becomes a problem where you don't feel happy anymore, where you feel like um, you start to get depressed. Depression actually comes from non-growth. One of the reasons that I know on a spiritual, on a spiritual kind of like um, plane, I kind of feel like depression is caused because of, I know two reasons on a spiritual reason um, why you would then get depression. Depression can be caused because of you not living your truth or you not following your heart. So when your heart says to you, this life is really not for me, I don't like what I'm seeing. Okay, I want to take one from there, and then I'm going to go with the rest of it. Um, you can be literally saying, wow, you're reading. Um, you could literally be saying, nothing's really wrong, but I don't feel okay. It's because you're not living the best version of who you can still unfold to become. There could be also something calling you in the future, and you're kind of like staying in the current present moment because you're safe, and you don't want to rock the boat. And then at the same time, you're not feeling that great either. It's because your soul is telling you, your soul is speaking to you. You got this place here, but it's time to go now. It's time to make a move. It's time to change. It's time to shift something. Change is for me. I love it. I love change in some kind of way. I love something new coming in. I love shifts and changes. Even exploring new ideas, exploring new ways of being, um, traveling up a road that I've never been on before. It's it's a nice feeling um, because that in that change, that's where your growth lies. If you don't change, you don't grow, you see. And you have to be challenged. So you, are, you got change coming in here. There is no, oh my God, you're reading. I will show you these cards. You're in your reading, by the way. First card out there, you are. Mm. There we are. So you got your three of pentacles rocking up here. You got a king of pentacles rocking up here. And a hangman. It's enough now. You need to shift. You need to go. Okay. Where do I even start here? Okay. So first of all, let's start with you. Justice card comes up in your reading. Um, ending of something. Uh, balance coming in. I feel you might have been fighting for this balance also. Okay. Because next to it is your empress. Look how she's sitting there in a rocking chair, kind of like, you know, not nothing a lot going on there, but she's safe in her environment. And I feel you fought for this energy or you're fighting for it. You're fighting for that safety, balance energy with the judgment, scales of justice, your sign. It's showing that balance. It makes you have a calm life. But now you're kind of going round and round and round with this kind of energy. And Somehow or the other, it's making you get uncomfortable. Not because you're afraid that something's going to go wrong, because you're looking at life and you're kind of like going, is this it? No, it's not it. And that's why you're feeling maybe this way. A little bit getting anxious here, yeah, emotional, not emotions not really feeling the way you wanted to. Okay. All right. So this is a very interesting reading. When you are now in this energy, I feel already, for some of you, you are thinking about shifting or changing something, but you're afraid to do so. You got that Ace of Wands, a Page of Wands, sorry, Page of Wands, any Wands energy. It's what drives you. It's what puts a fire inside of you. It's what makes life worthwhile. It's, it's that motivation. It's a goal. It's a dream. It's energy. And right here, I don't feel like there's energy there. It's it's all good, but there's uh, something missing. There's a spark, like that fire, that little spark of fire missing in your life. And um, I think you're thinking about it, and you may be thinking about ways, because I see the Seven of Cups coming up as well. You see how these cards are going? 
you do see, you do see. But you, you know, I've noticed something. Look at, look at how the the Ace of Wands got two little cats up there. It's like they're like you're holding a little plank or a shelf, and there's two cats perfectly balanced, just like the Justice card. And I think you're okay in your life, but I don't feel like emotionally you too satisfied with everything going on around you. And you're going to have to move forward. Yeah, you're going to have to, I think, prepare for this because there is something that's going to change. you got one, two, three, three cards, four cards <laughs> that show <clears throat> that something's about to shift. And um, focus right now on actually maybe what you would like to see that's different. If you're feeling life's boring, then figure out what can I do to make it not boring. And um, maybe I should take up some new hobbies. Maybe I should get, maybe go back and study. Um, maybe I should change something because I feel that this change is coming in. And this kind of energy is really looking at the options of what needs to happen and then putting it into focus and putting it into action as well. Because here we've got the justice ending of something. Okay, but finding your balance as well. We've got the judgment. No more round and round. You've got two cards talking about endings. Two cards talking about endings. And I know for some of you guys, you're going, I've got everything in balance. I've got everything the way that it's meant to be. I don't want to rock the boat. But you're not happy also where you are. So what boat are you trying to rock? You know, the boat of... The ghost ship, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, um, I see you with a new beginning coming in. I mean, you got this transformation energy here, butterfly spirit. You've got justice. You've got judgment, endings, and you've got a full card, a new beginning coming, a change coming, a shift coming. And the shift is true transformation energy, just like the butterfly undergoes that metamorphosis from caterpillar into that the state of the cocoon and then from the cocoon coming out to become the butterfly, there's going to be a time where you don't see where you're going or what's going to happen. I mean, I don't think that butterfly, I think they're like, like little animals like insects and stuff, they're truly living in the present moment. I don't think they're thinking 10 years from now, what, where's my life going to be? I think they can understand winter is coming cold is coming, I'm a store food, but they're living in that moment of just doing it, you know what I mean? I don't think when that caterpillar goes into that cocoon, and I kind of feel like you could be in the cocoon now, you made yourself safe, you're in that cocoon, but now you're not feeling so comfortable in it. I don't think the caterpillar realizes what it's going to become. Imagine being a person or he, like a person and you're walking around on the ground here and then one day you lock yourself away <laughs> in your bedroom for months on end and the next thing you know you open the door and you just fly you got these wings that you didn't know that you had i don't think the caterpillar realizes it either i don't think you do either and this energy of not knowing can cause you to get a bit fearful with the moon card which is pisces energy can cause you to get a little bit fearful it can cause you to become anxious, maybe worried. Like, am I doing the right thing? If, if, even if something happens to you and the change gets brought to you, um, you might go, I hope this is going to be okay. I hope I'm going to be in the right direction. You know what I mean? And let me tell you something. You are going to be just fine. Because where you are going is, in fact, what you've been wanting. Uh, the shift that you're looking for. The hangman coming up here, this last energy shows this kind of like hanging around, pause moment, waiting to see change, but change is not coming. Yes, yeah, change. Yeah, it is. And change is scary. When it actually comes knocking on your door and it actually happens, we do get like a boom. I hope everything's going to be okay. But it is going to be okay. You've got long-term stability with the three of pentacles. And you've got the king of pentacles showing you at the place that you are still safe in. But you're actually just changing something around to make life more exciting. Your needs will be taken care of. You don't have to be afraid to maybe go out there and shift and change. Or when opportunities come, go for that opportunity. Because it's going to make you feel different in your life is going to bring in growth in your life and you might even encounter more money 
where you are going with that three of pentacles and king of pentacles there we go thank you so much for being here libra as you always are thank you for always coming in and watching the readings it means so much to me um sending my love to you guys as I always do i will see you in your next week's reading bye